Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of CZCW Coastal Zone Championship Wrestling. This is our end of year event, end of 2016, that is. This is Christmas Cage Chaos. CCCW Christmas Cage Chaos 4C, 4C, Illuminati confirmed, if you understand the C-verse. Uh, if you don't, I'll quickly explain that joke. 4C is a company up in Canada. Canadian Charisma Combat. Canadian Championship Charisma Combat. Canadian Charisma Ch Championship Combat. That. Championship Combat Wombat. There you go. There's CCW. There's your new fed. All right. Championship Combat Wombat. A whole bunch of wombats just smacking each other. Anyways, uh, we are here once again in the Gorski Ballroom as we've kind of started to adapt that to our main uh, venue. Um, we've got a couple guys here that I don't think I even put on the show. I ended up uh, picking them up, but uh, they won't even be on the show. They're just local guys to uh, come in here and do a little bit of work. We made a profit again last month. We're doing pretty well with that, so I'm thinking of maybe boosting up some, uh, maybe some production values, maybe in a bit, considering um, you know this skill. Because I think we are no, no, actually we're okay. Wow, what do you know? Um, don't really know what I can do with that. Maybe I'll look into investing in more talent. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's. Let's run the show. Let's roam things up with a 73 B minus. Shit, Donnie J is over. And he starts off the show. And he says, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end of 2016. And I'll have you all know, I am only four months away from doing what I set out to do from the very beginning. Going coast to coast as i've started to deem it i will go the full year as maw champion maw champion oh my god what has happened to this series you know you've watched too much of putty stuff one coastal zone champion but tonight i'm faced with a little bit of a challenge i'm gonna be facing greg a friend of mine somebody i'll become very proud of and the air attack weasel, an enemy of mine, and somebody who I truly despise. As much as I like Greg, and I know he feels the same way, I'm not going to hold anything back. I can't hold anything back. I mean, I'm Donnie J. I could probably afford to hold back a little bit, let's be honest. But I won't. Because I'm going the full year, coast to coast, as Coastal Zone Champion. And tonight is just another stepping stone on the path to greatness. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoy the show. Let's get the ball rolling. So yeah, there we are. We have uh, Donnie J open up the show with a little bit of a promo, uh, touting the main event tonight, Donnie J versus Greg Gage versus, uh, wait, let me think for it, Air Attack Weasel, Coastal Zone Championship in a big triple threat steel cell match. Damn. Let's roll forward. We have a 38 D minus to open up. Just a quick little thing here. As Bullseye defeats Frankie Boy Fernandez in about 5 minutes, 11 seconds by pinfold, they pinpoint knee. Good stuff from Bullseye picking up the victory. Um, yeah, not not much else to say there. Uh, decent win for Bullseye. Uh, Bullseye working uh, a very aggressive style. He's a very aggressive man. He's very, he's this young guy. Um, he hits hard and he hits with a lot of, he hits with a lot. Let's just go with that. He hits with a lot. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing much else to say about this as we're going to move forward to backstage. Simon Waves cutting promo. He says, so tonight I've got Kerr. I guess we've taken to calling it Kerr, whatever it is. Nobody necessarily knows. To be honest, I just call it Fire Motherfucker. But uh, at the end of the day, there will only be one Fire Motherfucker, and that's Simon Waves. And the crowd's kind of like, oh, Simon, please, please, no. Simon's like, all right, all right, my bad, my bad. But tonight I do have Kerr, and I know Kerr looked impressive last month 
at showdown, at sundown. But tonight's going to be different. Because Kerr, as much as he's only, he's only fought one match. One match. Against anybody here in CZCW. There's nobody in CZCW like Simon Waves. There's nobody who's going to fight harder, fight to his very last breath in order to get a victory. And so, Kerr, if you're looking to test yourself, which I feel like you are, you came looking for it and you found it. You found me. Now it's time to give you a run for your money. Hell, better than a run for your money. It's time to pick up a victory. Let's get this done. But we don't have that match. Actually, we have Al Coleman defeating Carlos Barrera in about two minutes, eight seconds by submission with an ankle brace. So Al Coleman uh, beats Miguel Rivera's tag team partner. And uh, he even cuts a promo on Miguel saying, Miguel, you know you can't beat me, right? You know that one-on-one, -on -one, there's no way you can beat me. You know that one-on-one, -on -one, I would surgically break you apart to the point where you were just a puddle on the ground resembling what used to be a man. Broken bones, a shattered spine, bruises all over your body. Because, Miguel, you know, you should know better than anybody else on this roster what a fight is like. But at the end of the day, you can't beat me. You can throw your fists. You can cheat all you want. It's not going to matter. Because at the end of the day, wrestling is about wrestling. Not punches, not kicks, not even flips that everybody else likes to do here. It's about wrestling. It's about putting a dude on the mat and breaking him apart mentally, physically. So Miguel, next time you feel lucky, come and find me. Come and find me and let me tear you down. We head into a tag team match with Miguel. And Miguel picks up the victory over Jackpot Jordan with a shot in the dark. So Miguel Rivera and Waylon Walls defeat Rich and Famous about 9 minutes 40 seconds when Miguel defeated Jackpot Jordan. Damn, big win from Waylon and uh, Rivera. Uh, and they're not even really partners. They're kind of two members of the group. Uh, and they're able to pick up the victory here against Rich and Famous. So very, very big victory for this little section here of whatever group this is. Greg Gosh cuts a promo. And he says, tonight is the opportunity of a lifetime. Tonight I have the opportunity to become Coastal Zone Champion. You know, folks, I've done it all. I've been to Japan. I've come back here. I've wrestled luchadors. I've wrestled puro specialists. I've wrestled technicians. I've wrestled brawlers. But I've never wrestled anybody like the Air Attack Weasel. The Weasel thinks differently than you and I might. The Weasel thinks differently than me and Donnie do. I guess Donnie and I do. Whatever. See, me and Donnie were competitors. Donnie and I were competitors. I don't know. Screw it. We're competitors. We go out there and we give our best. At the end of the day, if it's not good enough, it's not good enough. You regroup. You get ready again. You move forward. You move on, but you always move forward. The weasel doesn't move forward. The weasel reopens old wounds. The weasel uses anything to get the victory and that's not what a wrestler is that's not what a champion is a champion fights for what's right no matter what he has to be an example or else the entire place falls apart so tonight not only am i fighting to obtain the coastal zone championship but i'm fighting to keep it out of your hands weasel you can you can have a more fitting of a name you're just a weasel. At the end of the day, I'm going to stomp a weasel. Well, there you go. Greg, Greg Gosh, kind of a bit of a promo. Once again, building up the main event. We have, finally have that Kerr match. In about three and a half minutes, seven ways fares no better than uh, Chit.
believe it was Chet Chavez, uh, did last month as Kerr defeats him with a fire flame kick or a flame fire kick. One of the two, whichever one you feel like, probably. Uh, we have a promo from Malloy and Spillane, and they say, Tonight, we're taking on the Wildcats. Former tag team champions out there ready to go. And we're the number one contenders. You know, this match on paper looks like a doozy. The guys who just lost their belts, the guys who are just about to win those belts. But it's not. Jaguar and Salvaje are outclassed at every single corner. Every single one. You can look at any situation in this match, and who's better? The American Cobras. So, S Storm, I don't... I don't frankly know what we're waiting for. Let's let, let's go do it. And the two make their way down to the ring for this intense matchup. And a 57C minus. The American Cobras do just as they said. And they defeat the Wildcats in 16 minutes, 15 seconds. When Marvel Malloy defeated L Jaguar by pinfall with a Cobra strike. The American Cobras have just defeated the former champions. You have to imagine what that does for their odds, for their bids, for their confidence, taking on bad reputation. The current champions, the guys who were able to beat the Wildcats also. This is a massive, massive victory. Maybe the Cobras don't feel like it, but looking on paper, looking at their odds now against the champions who just were able to beat this team, you have to look at them now as they're on a similar level. You also have to think about the fact that the American Cobras have also just beat Going Coastal, another high-tier tag team in the Coastal Zone Tag Team Division. The American Cobras are looking really damn good right now. That's all I'm saying. If you were smart with your money, you know where to put it, to be honest. The Air Attack Weasel cuts a promo, and he says, I'm not surprised. Why would I be surprised? I know Donnie doesn't like me. I've never liked Donnie. I know that Greg wasn't going to like me. He's too much like Donnie. But at the end of the day, folks, I'm going to be champion. You have to realize this, because as much as those guys fight for their honor and for their justice and for the sake of competition, that's not what gets things done. At the end of the day, what gets things done is yourself, it's your ability to do anything. Desperation will get you victories more often than anything else will ever in the history of this business. You look at guys who have said fuck morals and they've gone in and they've gone in for themselves and they've gotten success. It happens every single time. The guy who fights for himself, the guy who doesn't care about what others are saying, the guy who cheats to win, the guy who goes to any lengths is always the guy who comes out on top. And tonight will be no different. I had my chance once, and sure, I blew it. But tonight is the night. The Air Attack Weasel is going to come out of this match as Coastal Zone Champion. There's not a damn thing any of these people, Donnie J, Greg Gosh, or even the goddamn guru can do about it. We have uh, Flash Sparrow defeating Chet Chavez and Swipe Romero. In about two minutes, when the American Flash defeated Swipe Romero by pinfall day, Sparrow's Hawk. Um, pretty decent stuff, to be honest. Uh, Flash Sparrow pick up another victory after uh, after kind of changing their tune. And we go back, uh, this is on the DVD, actually. Uh, and it's Super Ninja and Johnny Perez. And they're out in, like, a junkyard or something like that. And they have a full-on training montage. Super Ninja says to Johnny, Johnny, you know, last week, you know, we didn't really get things done, man. But tonight... Or I think I said last week. Next month, we didn't really get things done, man. I might have said next month. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? But tonight, tonight, we get better. Tonight, we train. And so the two of them go full-on training montage. Think of any kind of 80s training montage you want. Lifting weights, running, doing the weird poses that they do. They're like, Wah! when they pose. 
super ninja like jumps from a very tall building and lands in a very small thing of water like it's all people around applaud and throw coins at him um it is a full-on training montage and donnie J makes his way to the ring for the most important and certainly a pivotal pivotal title defense for him and a 66 C plus and about that had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. The air attack weasel defeated Greg Gage and Donnie J in 1741 when the air attack weasel defeated Donnie J by pinfall with an air attack ace. Air attack weasel wins the coastal zone championship title. Whoa. So, a guy, a guy who, quite frankly, I think, you as viewers, certainly means a booker, uh, and I think everybody else, even the guys in the locker room, kind of look at as kind of a lower tier guy, somebody who doesn't really get things done the right way, uh, and half the time doesn't even get them done at all. You, you know, he had the one-on-one -on -one match with Donnie, and he lost, but... He, he picks up the victory, and it's in a very similar situation to the match he just lost. Uh, this one in a steel cell um, compared to uh, the last one, which was in a steel cage. And it allows it, it allows the weasel to pick up the victory. Maybe that previous match was a way to prepare, maybe, but Donnie J also had this situation to prepare. So maybe, and I think, not maybe, I think more likely... The air attack weasel may, oh jeez, I keep going back to may, but you gotta think maybe he was just on his game, and maybe Donnie was off his game, but nevertheless, it's a huge, huge victory for the air attack weasel. And um, we're gonna go uh, off air here with, it, we're going to go into the new year with a new champion. Donnie J once again stopped from going coast to coast, as he liked to call it. And that's where we're going to have to wrap this year up, folks. I'll see you guys for the next episode, which will be CZCW Revolution. We're going all the way back, folks. 2017 is right around the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Silly Tuck. Signing out.